So I'm Mark Christensen. I'm the founder and CEO of Dented Brick Distillery. I started Dented Brick about five years ago. It took us a couple of years to get all of our licensing and uh, permits in place. Once we did that, uh, we got our construction contract going, we got our construction loan going, and we had to find a piece of property. Uh, about eight months into it, my real estate agent called me and said, I found it, you have to come right now. It's this property here, the photograph on the wall of the little house. What was special about the property is it has an artesian well. So the artesian well is, is integral to the distillery here. Um, it's really great water, it has a lot of minerality in it, all kinds of minerals that are really great for the yeast and during the fermentation process. So interestingly, when we started uh, getting ready to build the facility, uh, we realized that the whole front of the house had bullet holes. And uh, there had been a shootout here in the late 80s and a fellow was, was killed on the front porch of the house. Some of the bricks that had the bullet holes are like this one right here. These are our dented bricks. So we are dented brick distillery, uh, kind of centered around the bullet holes in the house. Another interesting thing that we found as we started to work on our whiskey program was Hugh Moon. Uh, Hugh Moon is the name of our whiskey label. Hugh is an actual distiller in Salt Lake City from uh, 1850 to about 1870 uh, when his distillery was shut down by Brigham Young. We said, well, let's make a label with Hugh. Hugh's relatives started coming to the facility and giving us bits and pieces of information. We actually have an original label uh, from Hugh's whiskey uh, called Dew, Dew from the Moon. And we're going to be able to recreate some of his, uh, Hugh's original labels from the 1870s here uh, as we go forward with our whiskey program. We're pretty excited to get Hugh going. Let's go on back and uh, take a look at the facility. So here at uh, Dinner Brick Distillery, we do everything from scratch. So we bring in all of our grain. Um, this is red winter wheat, and this is rye. These grains are grown uh, up near Logan, Utah, right on the Utah-Idaho border. Uh, for our gin, we bring in a botanical gin. This is from Eastern Europe. This is a Utah juniper berry. And the problem, with, we'd really love to use the Utah juniper berry, but it's just a horrible tasting and smelling juniper, nothing like this. So we have to bring that from out of the country. Um, these are our barley grains for our whiskeys. Uh, the barley's grown up in Idaho. We get it from uh, Mountain Malt in Burley, Idaho. We get our cane sugar from uh, Lula Farm in Louisiana. This is a turbinado cane sugar from Green Sugar Cane Juice. And they also produce a small amount of molasses for us. So the molasses from the same sugar stock as our sugar, which is pretty rare and unique. And it's part of the reason the rum is so good. Uh, the other bits and pieces of our gin are uh, citrus peel. So our gin has citrus peel, juniper berries, and some other botanicals. Um, so once we get our raw materials in, we go to the mash. So this big guy here is our mash tank. Um, so we'll take those grains in, uh, we'll mill them, and we'll put them in this tank. We'll boil them. Uh, we, start the, we, we heat these up to start the conversion process of the starches in the grains to sugar, and we add those enzymes that come from those sprouts in here. For our sugar and molasses, we boil it to sterilize it. So we've got to sterilize that molasses particularly. There's a lot of wild yeasts and bacteria in there that can uh, add bad little characters into our uh, fermentation. Uh, so once we go through the step of mashing, uh, we go over here to fermentation. Um, these fermentation tanks, unlike a lot of distilleries, are jacketed, which means they have heating and cooling. Uh, we had to do uh, jacketed tanks in this facility because the distillery itself doesn't have any insulation. We do that for a barrel aging process. So as those barrels heat up in the su summer, the alcohol expands and goes into the pores of the wood. And in the winter, they shrink and it pushes the alcohol out, extracting the vanillin from the oak that we want to get to give it that nice aged uh, character. We do our fermentation here. And sometimes the grain fermentations take a week. The rum fermentations only take a couple days. Uh, and we'll go into distillation. So what's happening is we're taking that finished fermentation. Uh, it's called distiller's beer at this point. So there's alcohol in there, but there's also all the leftover yeast cells, uh, all the residue from the sugar uh, and the molasses. We're pumping our distiller's beer all the way to the top of this column. There's steam coming into the back of it, and the steam is shooting up all the way to the top. And the steam actually shoots out of the very top of the column and somewhere about in the middle, it hits 185 degrees. 185 is where alcohol first starts boiling. So the alcohol will then vaporize and shoot out of the top of this, going this way on the preheater, 
down, and this is a condensing coil. There's chilling fluid going through there, so the steam alcohol just hits those condensers, recondenses, comes out as alcohol, and you can see this is our uh, spirit safe, and we're measuring the alcohol content here and into these storage tanks. Uh, and then once we get the strip done, we'll, we'll get 500 gallons of this. We'll put it in our 500 gallon batch still, or pot still, and that's where we finish the rum and get it up over 40% alcohol, which it needs to be uh, to sell it. This is our pot still, or batch still, and um, this is where we finish our product. So when we finish our rum and when we finish our whiskey, we do it here. So we did the stripping run, and that turned our distiller's beer into low wine. Now we put our low wine in here and we make finished goods here. Uh, for the rums and whiskeys, these next four plates in this column, these are bubble plates, and that will get us up to the alcohol content that's desired. Uh, vodka and gin will turn this valve and we'll send our, our vapor or our, uh, our alcohol steam back to that column. That column is a vodka column. By the time the steam hits the top of that column, we're at 95% alcohol. You have to uh, distill to 95% alcohol to be able to make vodka. That would be a grain neutral spirit or vodka at that point. Once we have our finished goods, we pump everything back to that smaller tank. That's where we proof it down. So everything's over 40% alcohol when it comes off the still. Everything is clear when it comes off the still. So we'll take it to our proofing tank and we'll either proof it for barrel aging to get dark spirits or we'll send it to our bottling line and bottle it and send it off to the consumer. When you come to Salt Lake City and do your tour of Dented Brick Distillery, we are able to offer a tasting. We can offer five half ounce pours of each of our vodkas, gins, rums, and whiskeys. We look forward to seeing you in the near future. Thanks very much.